We've been building up to it for a few days now, but our heat wave has reached its peak today. Now, temperatures have actually dropped off a little bit compared with the recent days across Spain and Portugal and France, up into the 30s here just recently. But already today, we've seen 34 degrees across parts of Southeast England as this heat has pumped in our direction. At the same time, though, today, we've actually got quite a lot of cloud throwing its way in from the south. As we go through the rest of today, some of this cloud is going to start to produce some pretty heavy showers and even some thunderstorms in places. What's going on guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your car smart with one of these, an Amazon Echo Dot. To begin, you want to set up your Amazon Dot to your home Wi-Fi network as if it was any other Amazon device. On your phone, launch the Amazon Alexa app. At the bottom right, select the gear settings cog. Select the device, in this case I've renamed it Car Dot. Under Wi-Fi network, click change, connect to Wi-Fi. Press the action button for around 7 seconds until it spins orange. Now in setup mode, please follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Reopen the settings app on your phone. Under connections, select Wi-Fi and then wait a couple of seconds for the Amazon device to become visible. Connected. Go ahead and finish setup in your Alexa app. Select continue and then scroll down and you will see an option to create a mobile hotspot. Log in with your phone's hotspot details. Ready to connect. Go to the settings on your mobile device and turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. Return to your settings and under mobile hotspot, switch it on which will then disable your phone's Wi-Fi. Stay on this screen until Alexa has told you that she is connected. Trying to connect. Just a moment. Connected to Wi-Fi hotspot. Setup mode is off. Just a moment while this device reconnects. This device is ready. Now that you are back in the car, in order to get your Amazon Alexa Dot to work, you will need a couple of things. Uh, a cigarette to USB adapter, a aux cable, and of course your Dot with the power cable it came with. So the first thing you need to do once you get in your car is make sure that your phone has the mobile hotspot switched on and that your car is in the aux input setting. Down here I have my Dot. I already have the aux input plugged in. I'm then going to grab the USB power cable and plug it into the adapter. The dot will then power on and whilst it's looking for the hotspot it will do a number of green spinny circles. Once the dot is connected to the hotspot it will stop spinning so then it is ready to use. Alexa, What's the weather like today? Right now in Coventry, it's 13 degrees Celsius with showers and mostly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has lots of clouds with showers, with a low of 13 degrees. Alexa, play In My Feelings by Drake. In My Feelings by Drake from Spotify. Alexa, stop. So that's it. Now we have full hands-free capability of an Amazon Echo Dot. I will mainly be using this for long journeys and uh, changing my tracks on Spotify rather than obviously trying to use your phone, which is dangerous. This is just a temporary install. Obviously it looks a bit of a mess. I will probably end up wrapping this black as I was unable to get a black one and uh, sticking a Velcro pad on the underside of it sticking it down here or something just so you can't see it somewhere out the way then took all the wires down here and into there there we have it then guys the amazon echo dot is now installed in my car i'm going to take the car for a quick test drive 
try and see if there are any issues with the dot, especially when the roof is down, don't want any noise issues with the mic. I'm also gonna buy some Velcro pads and you know install it a little bit better than what I've done today. But if you've enjoyed this video, give, be sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. Cheers.